time she walk by, every time she walk by, I be like, there she go. Every time she walk by, I can see in her eyes. Shawty be feeling my vibes, I be like, there she go. Every time she walk by, every time she walk by. Hey guys, it's Kay, and I'm back with another video. So this video is gonna be on this hair that I'm wearing now, and this wig was sent to me from a Friday Night Hair. And this is the GLS 136, and I have it in a color TT332. So, here's the card. Sorry, y'all, y'all not going to be able to see it. I tried to do it in a little clip where I was styling this wig, but it didn't work either. But, yeah, um, that's the style of this wig. If you're not familiar with Friday Night Hair, they also give you tape, and it's hooked on to the little card thing. And that's just in case you want to tape down your hair. Um, me, I just, I don't even feel like I need to use um, tape or glue or gel to glue the lace down. Because Friday night um, hair lace normally lays flat. So I don't have to really worry about the lace coming up or not staying down. So yeah. So if you're not familiar with the construction of Friday night hair wigs. Basically this is a synthetic wig of course. And it is a lace front synthetic wig and it comes with two combs in the front, a comb in the back with adjustable straps. Now I will say that this cap size is um, a little bit snug. I felt like before I even adjusted the straps, it was a little bit like fit in my head and I do have a smaller size head. So if you have a big head, keep that in mind. Now, I did go in and adjust my straps and this wig fits me to a T, so I definitely love the way Friday Night Hair wigs fit my head. They fit it really nice, um, so if you do have a smaller head like me, definitely check out their wigs because their wigs fit smaller heads very well. Also, they give you around one and a half inches worth of lace. Um, and that's just where you can part the wig at. So uh, most of the lace is towards the middle part. And then when you start going down on the sides, of course, it's less lace to work with. But uh, yeah, not all the construction of these units are the same. Some have more lace space than others. Um, and the card is actually different. Um, I think that card that has more lace space is like a gold type of card, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, um those are the wigs that comes with um more lace space so keep that in mind so i'm just going to go ahead and show you how much lace space they give you and i don't even know if you guys can see that but that's the amount of space that you can get um, so if you wanted to part this wig in the middle, you definitely can do that. It's not going to be a long full on part, but you definitely can part it in the middle. Me with these type of with the wigs that don't have really that much lace space, I just like to do the flip over method. And that's basically just flipping all the hair to one side. Um, so yeah, I just flipped all the hair to one side and I like it like this because it looks more natural versus that little part. But um, yeah, so this is how I styled the wig and Friday night hair, um, the Friday night wigs, their hairline normally isn't that natural. So what I like to do is I like to cut baby hairs into the wig um, just to make the wig uh, appear more natural. So that's what it's looking like. And in the clips, you can see me cutting it because when I first received it and first got it out the package, like it was really long like the the bob didn't gradually go together i noticed that about their wigs when they have like bobs um the front part just be extra long and then the back is like a bob and then the front is extra long i'm really not a fan of that so i just cut it to even it out a little bit it still is going into like an angle um where it's short and then goes long but before this wig was like really long it was like two different hairstyles like the front was a wrap and then the back was a ball i don't know but yeah this is what it turned out to be i did get a little bit of tangling when i was brushing out this hair um when i first got it out the pack but i did play around with this wig off camera so that could have been what the tangling was coming from but after i brushed it out it wasn't too bad and it wasn't really tangling it was more of like snags so yeah also, I did not get any shutting from this wig. Even after I cut off the lace, I did not get any shutting. Um, this wig is 
I didn't know I don't know if I mentioned but the lace on this wig is hard lace just in case any of you guys wanted to know so my previous video for Friday night hair um, I did a bob I mean I did a video on a wig that was the same exact color except for um, it was like a more messy type of curly bob which I really love so this one is along the lines of that except for it's straight um, but yeah also this is a dark rooted bob but the only thing about the dark root is it's only where the dark root is only where the lace is so I find that it's more difficult to try to conceal like the sides where the tracks is because in the back it's all one solid color it's not like two tone like the top is so if you did want to wear this wig like flipped over I feel like you have to go in with like some black hairspray or maybe like a marker or something just to give it a little bit of dark roots and that's what I did right here I did it off camera you can't really I don't know if you can tell I don't even know if I did a real I don't even know if I really did a good job on it but when you flip it over like you can clearly tell you know it just didn't look right so you would definitely have to add the dark roots right here so it can just kind of disguise it and make it look more natural so yeah I went this wig is also a silky texture so if you don't like if you're not if you don't like silky texture wigs you might not like this one is not yakky whatsoever um and the density is pretty good for a bulb I feel like it's not too thin but I feel like it's not too thick either it's like a good medium it's like right in the middle where it's just like the perfect density for a bulb I definitely love this little hairstyle after I fixed it up so this is not like a wig that you can just put on and wear and wear straight out of the package I feel like you definitely have to put some work into this wig in order for it to look right but um yeah if you're willing to put the work into this wig it will definitely look bomb I definitely definitely love 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 the color so yeah, if you're interested in this wig, definitely check out my description box. I'll leave all the links to Friday Night Hair in my description box. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave it in my comment section down below. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But yeah, I think that's it for this video. I don't want this to be too long. I felt like I had something else to say, but it slipped my mind. Anyway, um, if you see me in the same outfit it's only because i'm filming multiple videos because i'm trying to get like all of these videos out for you guys because i have a whole bunch of hair to share with you guys so yeah stay tuned for that but um yes honey uh if you like this hair like i said the links will be in the description box and i hope you like this video um and i'll see you in my next video